So there are three ways in how to add the bubble jet. And they are slightly different, but they do the same thing. Okay, so first let's go add the local script. Here in starter player folder, inside starter player scripts, let's add a local script. I'm going to do it through this way, clicking on model, and then clicking here on the screen script. Okay, so now paste the code I've put in the description of this YouTube video. So this, this code will make the bubble chat um, enable the bubble chat. So if you put it here to false, it will be false like it is in default. So let's test this. Okay, so that's the first way. Now let me show you the second way. The second way, let's let's rename this to first, just not to get confused. Okay, let's add another script inside that folder. A local script, it must be in the local script. Then I, I had the code, the code is also in the description for the second way, but I'll just copy it from this one. Copy it, paste it, override the print, paste it inside this um, script. Now, this will also change the bubble, ch enable the bubble chat. Um, it looks less code. And what, what you can do with this is, you can, for example, if you put like a wait 10 seconds, you can change the bubble chat to false. So why do you want to do this? Because let's say you have like a game where you spawn people into into different maps and maybe you want to turn off the bubble chat for that specific player and since local scripts is specific for runs on the player's computer so you can put essentially put it in a remote function or um, from the server send the request to the, the client's computer in this local script and then activate deactivate the, the bubble chat so in this example it will since all the when the player starts up, they receive this to the scripts inside this folder. So when you start up after 10 seconds, the bubble chat will be false. So let's test it out. See, so now it's working. And after 10 seconds, it won't work. There it's gone. Okay, so last last way is by forking all the scripts in chat. So let's let me show you how to do that. And then changing one of the functions in the module script. So here in chat, you see all this. This you'll have to copy all of this um, folders and files inside chat. So let's copy that. Um, I'm going to press Control C. Then in the game. After that, you go back to this chat, click on it, paste it, Control V. And now you see all this. This with this you can inside this client chat models is um, this module script called Chat Settings. And there is lots of settings for changing the chat look and but for this one we want to change um the bubble chat this one bubble chat enabled so you over you right you put through there so now it will also be it will also show but this way i won't recommend it because if you fork this all this you it might if they have an update you won't see the update because you forked the all the files and scripts so, but it's good for if you want to change lots of stuff. Okay, so let's test that and we'll deactivate these two. Disable them. Let's see, it also worked. 
Okay guys, thank you for watching, subscribe, like, uh, leave a comment, bye.